Hello. Hi, can Good you morning. see me? Yeah, I can see you, man. Ah, that's better. Yeah, restarting sometimes fixes it. Yeah. So for me, it's afternoon. I'm Graham. I'm from Ireland, but now I live in the Philippines. So what about you? What's your name? Yeah, my name is Balaya, and I am from India. Mm -hmm. So uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, so uh, why are you studying English? Yeah, yeah, I tell you. So I joined a camp. I joined this Cambly platform a week ago to just improve my English language, vocabulary, pronunciation, and action. So, because basically I'm a school teacher, so that I must get prepare myself well, and so that I can give my best to my student. Mm -hmm. That's why I joined Cambly. And uh, what should I focus on? As I am a beginner on Cambly, so yeah. what are the things I should focus on? So first of all, um, because you're you may be a beginner on Cambly, but you're not a beginner at English. So what we need to do is find out uh, where the gaps are in your knowledge. So yeah. and the best way to do that tends to be first of all we can have conversations. If we spot mistakes, we can focus on correcting those. Other things we can do are working on improving vocabulary um, and finding different things to talk about. A useful way to do that is to use articles. For example, reading articles together can be very helpful. Uh, one yeah. handy place to do that is uh, websites like this. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it, the link. Perfect, yeah. So yeah. Uh, this, uh, with articles like this, you can go through, study the vocabulary with the tutor, read the article, and work through the questions together. Many of the yeah. questions are designed to be conversation topics. But if you oh. already have conversation topics that you'd like to discuss, simply starting uh -huh. with those is a useful way. And then the main thing is to focus on mistakes and errors. Yes. And then iron those out. So if you don't understand why something is a mistake, we can look over the grammar and things like that. So okay. uh, just when you're, for example, when you were going to introduce yourself, you said, I believe you said it was along the lines of I tell you. Uh, I'll tell you. Normally, in that context, we'll use the simple future. I'll, yeah. for example, I'll introduce I'll, myself my, now. I'll tell you. So that will be an example oh. of a small mistake. And just little things like yeah. that to iron out. Yeah. So It must be... I introduce myself or I'll introduce uh, myself. Yeah, so I'll, int I'll whether should we myself. Whether should we use simple future or simple present? Uh, si simple future, simple present wouldn't really work. Uh, uh, you might, like, if you present continuous would make more sense. I am introducing myself, but that might sound a little bit like you're interrupting me. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. better to say, you know, I'll introduce myself. Uh, so Go going to the simple future. Now you could use expressions like "let me introduce myself." Myself, okay. So let me introduce myself. Uh, that's a polite mm. way. So let mm. me introduce myself. Very good, very good. Got it, got it. So, so that can be a, a handy way, and just little things like that. We can try and iron out the small mistakes here and there. Because that's usually what a lot of people have, just little imperfections here and there. So yeah. other things you can then do to improve. There are many flavors of English. So different yeah. accents, different styles, different. Even inside a country like Britain, for example, there would be many different variations of English. So yeah. it can be good to practice with different tutors, experience different varieties of English. So you yeah. pick up a lot of different local idioms, expressions, and personal habits from different tutors, which will then better okay. prepare Can you. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Could you please introduce me at least uh, our two local idioms that are pra that were usually in practice in your country? In Ireland? my in my country, in my country now, Ireland has a few more. We we have a lot of our own local ways. So, for example, huh. in. Uh, 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 so, for example, 
uh, uh, simple things like the word grand. Text it. The word text it. The word grand. Yeah, I'm going to write it. The word yeah. grand to yeah. Irish people means fine. This is unique to Ireland. Fine. So a yeah. common response, a uh, grand to most English speakers means large, old, or in the case of Americans, it could mean one thousand dollars. So if I get okay. five grand, I get five thousand dollars. But in Ireland, ah. grand regularly means a uh, fine. So how are you? Fine. I'm grand. Only Irish I'm people grand. say that. Oh. Only Irish. People. Oh, nice. So I'm uh, I'm Good. grand. Uh, how was last night? It was grand. We had a grand time. It was grand. So Good. Very unique to Ireland. That particular use. The other one I mentioned there, okay. I sounded unfamiliar to you, so I meant I'll, I'll type it out. So if I, if an American says um, forty grand. You know, I got 40 grand for my car. Uh, that means uh, $40,000. So you'll hear that on American TV all the time. They tend to use yeah, grand yeah. to mean dollars. So yeah, in yeah. Uh, in Europe, uh, in, in Europe, we may be more inclined to, instead of grand, to use 40K, referring big, where K yeah, means thousand. kilo, thousand. So, okay. K, yeah, thousand. I got 40K for that job. I got 40,000. So, yeah. uh, but we would understand 40 grand. If you went to the UK or Ireland and said 40 grand, they'd know you meant 1,000 because it's such a common American use. Yeah. Now, another common expression in Ireland, this is a new word for you. It originally comes from the Irish language um, and it's yeah. the word crack, but it's spelt a bit differently. Give me one moment to write it. Yeah. And it tends to mean fun or excitement. Um, it largely would have that kind of meaning. Crack. Crack. So it sounds, it, it's, its pronunciation is identical to this English word, crack. So, okay, okay. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. And people would ask questions. So in America, you'll hear people ask, what's up? In Ireland, you'll hear people ask, what's the crack? What's the crack? Okay. So, what's the crack? Good. Uh, or other expressions like uh, any crack? Just meaning anything any happening? Crack? Any crack? So, okay. what's the crack? Any, any crack? crack? Okay. Uh, you know, oh, we had mm. great crack last night. We had great fun last night. Okay. So, Good. those would be some really. common expressions with that particular one. Okay, okay. It's really, uh, I think I got a, a little bit about the. Okay. Uses of uh, idioms, local idioms. A few there. local, well, a certain local vocabulary but, there, but they're extremely common. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. This connection so is going to be very, I have very, mm -hmm. yeah, I have only one minute of time left now. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, so I have within this time, uh, how is left. the now? You don't need of time, just, I have only yeah. one minute left. <laughs> I have only one minute left. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, Thank you. No problem. Mm. You were going to say something? Okay, it's nice. Uh, it's nice talking to you. And uh, mm -hmm. it is, this is first time I'm connecting to the Irish native speaker. I'm very really happy. And uh, I can uh, get the ideas what you actually uh, imparting here. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for uh, teaching. I'll, I'll be looking forward yeah. in my next yeah. class so thank you so in much connecting for with teaching you. me. You just need your object for ah. teaching. Thank you so much for teaching me. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for teaching me. So, okay, good. Okay. See you again. So have a good day. Goodbye. Have a good day. Goodbye.